What's up guys, Vinny the Gamer here, and today we are going to be playing some more Sun Challenge. Let's get into it. Now I'm hoping we can play maybe like the first five, six levels of this. Now, I, I looked at the thing and I was like, okay, I think I have a good strategy. Because I know what these do, they push, push zombies over here. So I'm hoping we can get three repeaters here. Spike weeds here, and then place another walnut right there. Now of course, we're just going to... Quickly set up our defense really quickly. Freeze him. Oh, I forgot. The freezing isn't as useful here. Hmm. I guess that's where Stunion's gonna be useful. Uh oh. Okay. This is not good. This isn't good so far. Okay. Let's see if this works. First cone head of the world, I see. Freeze him. Okay, gets hit by the spike weed a bit more. There's the first plant food. Place that there. This isn't the worst setup so far. I just need to get more spike weeds, and I should be fine. Okay, cone head there, place that. Yes, repeater, thank you. Then we can just get one, two, and the third one. Oh. Is that a bucket head? Freeze. Not freeze. Come on, next sun. Need the next sun. Okay, I'll save up for, I'll save up save up for the repeaters, I think. Okay. Now do I save up save up for a cherry bomb on the last wave? Like do I save up for the cherry bomb? Hmm. Now let's just get Okay, the plan is set up. Now I just need to, I guess, just freeze this guy. It froze the one behind him. How is how does that work? He's literally a whole tile ahead of him. Well, I guess it's okay. Okay, let's just start playing, placing some potato mines. And we should be done, done with the level. Okay, final wave. Oh, they hit my potato mine. Kaboom, or kabloof, we win. Okay, now we have hot potato, so now we're going to have to deal with, wait. They're giving me three repeaters, I'll take it. I think we just go with the same strategy as last time. Because, well, there's not really a point to really divert from this setup. There's not a whole lot of other plants I could really use right now. So we're going to continue without any sun producing plants. And yeah. Yeah, let's just get a bunch of free repeaters over here. Okay. Unfreeze that repeater. Then we will unfreeze the bottom. The bottom repeater. And then I guess I'll just... Uh, since... We don't have Cabot's Pole, because I don't even need Cabot's Pole. I'll just keep placing repeaters in the three lanes, and maybe place some spike weeds here to weaken those. In those lanes. Perhaps. And that's the whole strategy, I guess. That's the entire strategy. And once that's done... Right. They're going to keep freezing my points. And that's why they're like, oh, Pepper Pool is actually useful in this world. No, Fire Pea is way better. <laughs> like, I'd, okay. Like, there's no point in Pepper Pool other than to unfreeze plants. That's the only reason why you'd ever get it. Anyways, it looks like I'm going to have just enough to plant all of my spike weeds. Every single spike weed has now been placed. Well, besides... 
I can still place more. But all the important spike weeds have been placed. Unfreeze that repeater right now. Okay, let's start placing some potato mines. Oh, actually, yeah, let's start placing some potato mines. Keep on placing potato mines in all those spots. And there. And that is the end of Frostbite Caves Day 2. Of course, we can't play Day 3 because it's a conveyor belt level. Okay, now we have the Hunter Zombie that just freezes our plants, making it extremely annoying to really do anything. But other than that annoyance there's really no reason to like panic over this once we get charred guard we're fine rotobaga will be a decent plant to get honestly rotobaga isn't the worst plant in the world let's be honest neither is starfruit they're both not bad this is an interesting area over here and I do not get any free plants or any time to prepare. Plant that down. I say we start off with our cabbage first. I'd rather have cabbage poults first this time. Because we don't really get any free plants, do we? Okay. Let's plant all of our walnuts and spike weeds here. Like, walnuts here, spike weeds here. But first we have to... Oh my goodness, there are so many zombies. What am I supposed to do? Okay, well, Cabot's Pult will take care of most of them. Yes, I know. There's one going right up to the potato mine. Boom. Okay, we're safe now. We are... Oh, great, the hunter zombies here. That's fun. Okay, we can deal with him with four cabbage shots. That's, no, more than four. Like, five, I guess. That's fine. I'll take that. I'll take it. Start placing spike weeds so we can deal with the hunter zombies if they even get through our defense. Oh, gosh. Okay. Now Walnut is kind of useless, because he kind of just destroys Walnut. But luckily, uh, Hot Potato is a, you know, zero, uh, <laughs> zero sum. Just instantly get any plants out of that state. However, it's costing me a lot of sun to get this spike weed set up going. Oh no, oh no, no, oh. I wish I had repeater now, oh no. Hmm. Let's do that. Destroy them both. Destroy, th yep, that works. And also, repeater won't have to get rid of the frozen, like, the frozen walnuts. For example, if he were to freeze that walnut in the top, if you just did, the repeater would have to suit that walnut before they could suit the other zombies. So that's why we have that. Okay. I say we just do our walnut, not walnut, we just do our potato mine strategy again. Just blow them all to smithereens. And that should basically just be the end of the level. Okay, bucket heads in that middle lane. Wow, end of day four, really easy. What's this? Three more zombies. We should be fine. Yeah, we're good. I think I think we won. But I wasn't expecting there to be an extra amount of zombies here. And that's, yeah, that's the end of day four. Level five is conveyor level, so we can't do the no sun challenge here. Interesting. Now I, I see sunflowers that we, we are either going to have to immediately sun. sun. Oh no. Okay, I get you spike weed. Okay, that's fine. Tom, ugh. 
the strategy is not good, but I will take. Okay, yeah, that's all we got. Okay, um, I will try my best. Okay, so you may be saying, oh, they picked sunflower. This level is impossible. I can just not place a sunflower, so I can just not do that. And, and if you're wondering, wondering, what am I gonna do for these sunflowers? Where it's well, it's very simple. Insta sun, insta sun it. Just don't touch that sun it produced. So how this works is if I, if there's already a sunflower on the board, I kind of have to. Yeah, now I can't take any of the sun that sunflower produced, which actually wasted a whole lot of time because now many zombies are coming to attack anyways i should just have to guard the three lanes what am i doing i should have put the pepper bolts in the middle oh gosh okay we're gonna need to resubble just a little bit take that sun place another okay Oh yeah, pepper pulse worse than cabbage, I forgot. Pepper's bad. Pepper's very bad at attacking every anything. Just anything. But pepper pulse will help with any freezing that goes on. That's at least what pepper pulse is good for. I should at least use it in my strategies. Okay. Ugh, there's so many of them. Okay, this is where the dif difficulty comes in. Because, I mean... Hmm. Oh my goodness, they're... They're getting through. They are going to get through on that, on that bottom... That bottom lane, they might just get through. Oh no. Cabbage bolts plant food. There we go. That didn't do anything, really? Okay. Yeah, this is starting to get intense. This level is intense. Okay, so we got some freeze... Some freezers, I would say. I don't even think we need repeater for this level. Because I, I think... This is kind of... I think we just need to get our spike weeds up. And that should pretty much just be the end of what, what we will do in this level. House pulse plant food just doesn't do enough damage. It just doesn't. Okay, that's one spike weed uh, down. Corset. Okay, get rid of that bug. Yeah, get rid of that zombie. So now it's starting to get intense because there's many zombies in this lane. So I will place another spike weed to get rid of it. This is so intense. Okay, but I think, uh, we are fine, and that's the end of day six. Very intense level, but also very doable. Okay, so we just unlocked Pepper Pult, but I don't really think we need Pepper Pult, let's be honest. So I just think we're just gonna roll with this strategy on the left, and now there's a imp ice blocks and now zombies can start spawning there this is not good we are gonna get destroyed in this world we're like this world we're gonna get destroyed but I'm glad we can at least use okay yeah, the imps in this world are very slow I will say they're I'm pretty sure you yeah, have they're slower than the normal zombies so they're not a problem the imps not a problem at all it's good that we at least have a split pea there. Okay. Yeah, double... Oh my gosh. The double repeater attack right there. Jeez. Just the double. The double insta-kill on any reg zombie. Almost every reg zombie. Oh, snowstorm. So, um... Uh-oh. I forgot snowstorms existed. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. This world is intense. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Okay, let's start placing uh, some walnuts. Okay, this is very intense. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's a annoying move. That middle lane is flooded with uh, hunter zombies. I need to get them out of here. Oh no. Okay, let's start getting rid of the uh, imp, imp, yeti imps like statues that are there. Okay, let's get our defense fully set up. Let's. Okay, now we have. Okay, yeah, that that. Okay, we're good. We are good. So the reason why we have cabbage bolt so they can hit over over the icebergs if the walnuts get fro get frozen completely. And now we just plant spike weeds and kind of hope we win. Okay, final wave time. The final wave. Now let's wait till those zombies on the top and bottom kind of get in here. Okay. I kind of wasted that, but whatever. I don't really care. We're gonna win anyways. We have our lawnmowers, and that is the end of uh, day seven. Oh uh, yes, uh, dodo birds. Now, uh, cabbage pole, very useful. Now, spike weeds and repeaters are going to become less useful. But, I think we got this. I'm going to show you the strategy in 3, 2, 1. Oh no, there you go. This will be my strategy. I brought chili bean f for the dodo birds that will appear most likely on the bottom two lanes. And we really are starting with almost nothing, huh? Okay. Well, we might not use repeater. <laughs> Three waves, okay. Yeah, this is gonna be a long one. Okay. Oh, my tablet's starting to lag a bit. Maybe I've been playing for just a little too long. The dodo birds are so annoying. Because they can, yeah, they, they're kind of like tanks. They're mini tanks. But they are no match for my cabbage bolts. And, yeah, okay. Day 9 is gonna be difficult but not the worst thing in the world now i want to focus on the lanes like these three first because the only thing i can get over there is dodo birds no matter how many dodo birds they send they're not gonna get through and chili beans basically just potato mine but better just insta kills and stuns very simple okay Placed on my walnuts. Second wave is incoming. Okay, how many dodo birds are coming in those bottom lanes? Only one. Okay, I'll take that. Okay, let's see if I can get this set up. Oh my goodness. Quite a bit of zombies right there. Okay, let's get... Let's just save, save, up, save up for the cherry bomb. I hear a lot of dodo birds. Oh my god. One in every lane. Okay. You know what? Gosh, just use your plant food, please. Thank you. Okay, I at least can get rid of a couple of them using it. And, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is... Oh, yeah, this is the end of day nine. Okay, yeah, this was easy enough. Too easy. In the final level we would have been playing today would have been level 10, but it's obviously, as you can see, a configure level, so I'm hopefully going to see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.